Hello, this is PTTGRW, and welcome to episode 0 of my Let's Play series that I'm going to be calling Mass Transit. Now, this series is going to be using a huge amount of mods, and it's going to be in career mode. So, let's load up the world. I've already created the world as to get rid of all the dialogue boxes I get for creating certain settings from mods like Extraplanetary Launch Pads and Interstellar or warp plugin it's kind of called both the folder is called warp plugin but the mods interstellar um, anyway um, in this series we're going to be doing a tons of science as well as harvesting various resources now as I mentioned this is a series and this is episode zero so in this series there's going to be a whole bunch of different episodes can't really say how many um, I guess as long as it goes. And the idea behind the series is that Cathane allows me to add tons of resources into my mods, or into my game. And because I'm able to add tons of resources and I'm able to mine or extract, um, convert, and use all of them, I will be able to create quite a few interesting um, combinations of stuff. Um, I mentioned earlier I have extraplanetary launch pads. Now some people don't like it because it's kind of unfair and I do have to agree in a way it is unfair because of the fact that you can get a huge gigantic vessel in space without having to actually make it take off from the atmosphere or have to fight the gravity. Now, with extraplanetary extra launch pads version 4, it requires a certain amount of time to actually build said vessel. And along with the fact that Duna is the only place I can get ore, it is the only um, planet I can harvest ore to convert into metal, which converts into rocket parts, I think it's going to be pretty fair. Meaning if I want a quick vessel in the orbit of Kerbin, it's going to take quite a bit to get it, seeing as how Dune is my only option for metal. That aside, this the idea of this, another idea for the series, is that it's driven off of a story that the Kerbin economy needs all these different resources to function. Meaning, I would have quite a large demand, like the moon is going to have moon or liquid, um, Minmus, I'm thinking I'm going to put something called like Minty Syrup because that goes pretty well with the Kerbin lore that Minmus is a giant frozen dessert. Um, a minty frozen dessert, might I add. And using the Kerbal Alarm Clock, I could say things like every 60 days the Kerbins need, I don't know, 10,000 Minty Syrup and it's my job to supply that. So it kind of runs off the idea of mass transit, or a huge amount of transportation of materials, or goods. In this case, it's mostly going to be goods. Um, and I believe it's going to be a lot of fun, so we'll just have to wait and see. Now, the reason this is episode 0 and not episode 1 is because I needed some initial science. I needed the science lab specifically in order to actually start doing anything that I wanted to do with like the story of this series and I didn't want to f make it feel completely discontinuous in the idea that you guys would not be able to see um, my early game science getting so this is post commentary of me just getting some early game science for the first episode now the speeding up time is going to end here for a second because this is weird um, I've never used real shoots before and this is kind of my first attempt at actually using them. And if you pay attention to how quickly I'm traveling, I actually hit the surface going at about 55 meters per second and take no damage. And I find that kind of interesting because I had no idea how to use real shoots and it didn't destroy my vessel like I expected. I was expecting this to be a disaster. However, it was not. I, did, I have been mentioning several mods I'm using. Um, in the description there's going to be a link to a Google Doc that has a list of all the mods I'm using along with links to the Kerbal Space Program forums page where you can download and play with the mods. 
Um, as for this series and the other stuff I've been doing for videos, I will not stop doing um, spotlights or tutorials on how to like um, mod the plugins or the other mods. Um, those will continue when I have time to do them. Same with this series, I will do videos for this when I have time, particularly on the weekends because of university. Now, as I did mention before, there I didn't I've never used real shoots before. There are actually a couple mods I have that I've never used before, um, including real shoots, KOS, scriptable autopilot, and um, a couple of various plugins. I'm not entirely sure of the names at this point. Um, aside from that, there are a bunch of other mods I have used, such as Ferrum Aerospace B9. Um, currently the engines and fuel tanks I'm using are from Nova Punch. Either that, yeah, I believe it's Nova Punch. Um, I also have Near Future because that adds a few interesting um, resources with engines. Speaking of resources and engines, what I plan to do is some of the resources on the various planets. I do plan to be rocket fuel, and it's not very hard to set up the configs to do so, or create engines with more, or stock engines with more than one fuel source, such as the Rapier. That one has uses two different types of fuel. Um, liquid fuel with oxidizer, or yeah, liquid fuel with oxidizer for the space travel, and liquid fuel with atmosphere for in atmosphere travel. Um, it's pretty easy to set up an engine like that. Which I should say, if you see some interesting things happen with some of the mods I'm using, don't always expect those to be stock with the mods. I'd love to edit the mods to suit my own playstyle a little bit more. Um, so a lot of the mods will be custom, customized and configured to how I use them. Um, if you guys are interested in the config files for those, some of them I can give out. Others I can't because of licenses from the mods. So just keep me informed. Speaking of which, with your questions and comments, um, just make sure to... Uh, if you want, I guess, leave some feedback on how you like the videos, the voice, just the way I do things. Um, feedback's appreciated, as everyone will tell you, because just kind of sitting here in the dark, not knowing what you guys like to see and what you don't like to see, it's kind of hard to make the choices without any information. So if you see something you don't like, just tell me. If you see something you like, let me know, but only if you want to. Not necessary, since I um, don't have too many of you yet. Now, with this rocket, this is going to be our first real mission, and this rocket is going to bring us to the moon. And I was extremely surprised by how powerful these solid rocket boosters were. They got me to about 160,000 meters before they even ran out. As you can see, I'm trying to actually start my orbit. I didn't expect to get so high so early. Now, I've stated before that this is episode zero. There's going to be tons of fun mods that we're going to be using with their own configurations and each planet is going to have its own resources. I'm going to kind of drive it with a story so there will be on occasion kind of roleplay like, not necessarily 100% but just kind of roleplay like um, commentary. Speaking of which, this is post commentary, I stated that earlier however not all of it is going to be post commentary. This one is only post commentary because I did not really have the time to record it solid on and I had a lot of information to say so I couldn't really focus on what I was doing in game and saying it um, since this one is only about 12 minutes um, that's not going to be the normal the normal is going to be between 20 and 30 um, kinda based on about that I'm gonna aim for 20 to 30 probably closer to 30 minutes each um, for the episode videos. Um, some might be a little longer, some a little shorter, but I'll try to keep them above 20 minutes under all circumstances because anything shorter than that doesn't really feel like you're getting a full episode. Now this is our first trip to the moon where we're gathering some science high over the moon. Um, we're probably, the Kerbal Space um, program is probably going to 
uh, get under our skin a little bit on this one because we were told to only go into orbit. However, we decided because our phase angle was right and we had way more delta V than we needed, and Jebediah is such a good pilot, we decided to go all out and head to the moon really quick. So we'll see how they react in that one in the next episode. Um, as I have stated a lot, I seem to be rambling quite a bit. I'm trying to keep it as low white noise as possible of just kind of nothing to see here. But if there's anything particularly that I do in this series that you guys like, for example, a custom edit or setup, just let me know and I'll try to prioritize a video on how I made that happen. Um, but look at this real quick. If you notice, it looks kind of like my vessel is traveling backwards. This is because the uh, visual enhancements, the clouds, they are moving faster than my vessel was moving. So when my vessel started slowing down, just frame of reference, it looked like I was going faster. I find that kind of neat how a lot of um, real life physics things actually occur in the Kerbal Space Program that we can see. And I plan to make a couple videos on some of that once um, Inferno Robotics updates, which I hope isn't too long, but since point two three point five destroyed joints, um, it probably will be a while. But grabbing our last science, and this is going to bring us to the end of episode zero. I hope to see you guys in episode one. But until then, this is PTTGRW, signing off. Hope you enjoyed.